So, you know, Jordan, I've really been starting to learn the Godot engine, but I really feel like it's really a matter of waiting, you know, because I feel like it's not properly progressed. Oh Almost my like it's God, a waiting David, for David, shut up. That's the oldest fucking joke ever in any way. <laughs> it is time for the <laughs> I'm David, and this is your dose of Chainsaw Man. You can join us every Friday where we see what Masterpiece Fujimoto put out, though just a heads up, he's taking next week off. You deserve that break, King. Get that paycheck. He just got a long break, but you know what? He deserves another one, I think. He deserves many breaks because he's a king. Anyway, I'm Jordan, and if you're looking for regular Shonen Flop goodness, you can find our next episode to hear our first thoughts on Smokey BB this Monday. Just a little Smokey BB. Just a little, little tiny Smokey baby. Dude, when the fuck are they going to play baseball in this manga? I know. No, I think I mentioned on the, uh, the chibi, but it's baseball in the same way that Tommy Wiseau passing the football around is football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And just a reminder, these recordings are open to everyone. So listen in, chat along with us on the Shonen Flop Discord every Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. Eastern when there's a new chapter out. Find a link to it in the show notes or on our site. And Jordan, what was your devil this week? My devil this week is the kitten devil, David. You have to be kitting me. Shut up. Listeners will know that uh, a few months ago, I got a little kit. His name is Ozzy. He's adorable. He's also a fucking menace who terrorizes his older brother and sister who uh, just want these cats just want to like live and go about their lives, but he will not leave them alone and he bugs the shit out of them. And man, he is so cute. Like you, you can't get angry at him because he's just a baby. He baby. But I am very upset with him. <laughs> it's okay. It's like Ravioli. I record in a closet and he loves running in here and playing with the cords. So that's annoying. But I love him so much. <laughs> Aww. Mine naturally is related where I have the couch devil. Ravioli is now officially banned from being on the couch. So multiple Aww. times per day, I have to go check in and see that that little goblin is on the couch. Kick her off, but she's been really good. She usually eats her ice on the couch because she likes eating ice. And I saw her run to the couch. And then catch herself where she jumped on the couch and immediately jumped off and looked at me. And I was like, oh, she's doing better, you know? <laughs> Dogs do love ice. Yeah, she just loves eating ice. Why is she banned from the couch again? She was just causing issues. She actually like jumped on so aggressively my friend chipped her tooth. Oh my God. So we were just like, it's just best if she doesn't. It is. Uh, good luck keeping her off, though. She's been good. Actually, I had um, an interview today and I put her in the other room and she literally sat in her bed the whole time. Oh, she's a good girl. She a good goblin, a good unfurnished goblin baby. Yes. You'll find out in our next episode why she's an unfurnished dog. But Jordan, enough about that. Can you give us the plot summary for... Chapter 152, Massage. Mm. You know, David, I kind of need a massage. Me too, buddy. All right, so let's get to the plot summary. There is not that much that happened in this chapter, but at the same time, a lot happened in this chapter. So Denji has transformed for the first time in ages. At last, we have Chainsaw Man and Chainsaw Man. Part of him feels guilty because while his house burned down and all of his pets are presumably dead, Denji feels fantastic because he's Chainsaw Man again, baby. Baby, ah, yeah. No one believes him. <laughs> it's true. They think that he's uh, he's another faker. Popcorn David. Wait, <laughs> faker, <laughs> faker. Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? Popcorn David. You mean the chaos testicles? <laughs> <laughs> he tears, though I might say rip and tears, through the weapon hybrids, including whip, spear, and even a semi-friend broadsword, yeah. devouring them and commenting how this pain feels good, like a massage. Ooh, baby, a massage. it hurts so good. <laughs> anyway. Dennison turns to Nayuta and suggests that maybe she shouldn't hang around with him anymore because this carnage is what truly makes him happy. Or Nayuta, she's going to need a lot of chocolate milk after this. It's true. And as everybody knows, uh, Carnage is a powerful card in Slay the Spire that is ethereal and exhaustive. You don't play it. <laughs> as everybody knows. Venom's best friend and Carnage once killed someone through the internet. <laughs> that was a real thing that happened. Fuck yeah. But David, why was this week's chapter 10 out of 10? I just always love how now that people have seen him transform in Chainsaw Man, because everyone has, they still don't think he is the actual Chainsaw Man. Yeah, it's pretty good. Although he obviously has the most complete transformation because everybody else, it's like like they just have that one uh, chainsaw sticking out of their head. Yeah, they've got the little pee pee chainsaws. 
I think it's so interesting how I definitely think that Fujimoto plays with a hierarchy of needs. And it's like that meme where it's like he's evolving backwards. Where Denji is just like, yo, fuck it. Let's ball. And he's just like, I'm just going to devolve as a person because doing this whole like caring about self-actualization. That shit was lame, yo. I just want to rip and tear. Or is this his real self-actualization? But yes. regardless, um, I was talking to Steph about this and she kind of pointed out like, this chapter is very sad. It is like he's devolving. It kind of reminded me of like, um, do you know why it's really hard sometimes to keep people who are bipolar on their medication? Why? Well, the mania is very dangerous. Also, a lot of the times makes you feel very good. So it's mm-hmm. like this uh, difficult thing to do. Like this chapter kind of reminded me of that where it's like, yeah. Yeah. Denji shouldn't turn into Chainsaw Man, maybe. Like, he shouldn't. But it feels so good. It feels so good. And it also, like, as we've talked about, he's been miserable this entire second part. Like, you can just mm-hmm. tell there's something missing from him. Like, the light in his eyes have gone out. And finally, he can be happy again, kind of. But, like, he also knows this is also fucked up. And he tells Nayuta, hey, you should not be around me anymore. Which is, that's very sad, poor Naita. I mean, that's the thing he's learned is having things in his life he appreciates means that he also has to be sad when they're gone. And if he doesn't have those elements in his life, he can literally just do his primary needs of just worrying about eating, drinking, fighting and having sex. It's almost like being a normal person is difficult. It's very mm-hmm. hard. And I wouldn't know. That's true, David. Uh, me neither. But I hear it's very difficult. And um, yeah, he was kind of just like, ah, oh, this is that fun, easy shit that just makes me feel alive. And it makes me feel like I know what I'm doing. I'm in my element. And, you know, it, it's also like, I mean, it's obviously complicated because like uh, on the flip side, like he kind of did need to turn into Chainsaw Man, his kind of situation was pushed, more or less. Like, yeah. Yeah. I do want to say, though, that I actually had a bit of an issue where I think this is a chapter that really plays against Fujimoto's strengths as an artist, because I had to reread this chapter several times just to interpret what's going on, because he has such a gritty style when they're fighting each other and they're so close quarters. It's they just turn into a giant blob of grayness. It's true. Uh, I think it looks cool, but it needed. I ne- I did need to like look at it a couple times to really understand what was going on in these fights. I think once you again, once you kind of are able to parse it, I think it looks really cool. I also I feel like he has a new style of drawing Chainsaw Man in this part, and I think it looks really. I I really like it. You know. Yeah. Basically, his teeth are bigger, more or less. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Fair. And yeah, like the as you might have noticed from the. Plot Plot summary, there wasn't that much to say. Yeah, this is a very interpretation light chapter. Well, I disagree. I think that the interpretation there just is there. It's just there's not a lot that physically happened. Yeah. Like, we could sit here and we have talked about, like, the implication behind behind what Denji said, behind the emotions behind here, behind the, about the emotions behind uh, what is going on. But I also, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, he just turned into Chainsaw Man and uh, started ripping apart. And then he Chainsaw Man all over the place. He literally did. He turned into Chainsaw Man and Chainsaw Man all over the place. I also, I do think it's interesting. And I do think it also says something that, like, he didn't give a fuck about Broadsword Guy. Let's fucking slaughter that motherfucker. Well, they're all immortal, so it's like, you know. That's fair. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, anything else uh, to say here? I think there was also a small continuity issue where you see that um, the spear hybrid is next to sword man, but disappears. And I guess you like jump behind him, but it's kind of weird where it just seems like he teleports behind Denji. Nothing personal, kid. (laughs) Yeah, this chapter just felt like it was just from an actual artistic and narrative or from an actual like handling and art. It just it just wasn't Fujimoto's best work. I think that's fair. You know what else is fair? What? Thanking you for all of your hard work on the show, Jordan. Thank you, David. Thank you, David, for thanking me. And thank you, David, for the hard work that you put on. I thought you were going to say for being a friend. <laughs> Back again. I still, I will never learn the lyrics properly. Oh, man. I saw that someone is making like a Persona inspired Golden Girls game. <laughs> I think it's like the Golden Girls take Manhattan. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh man uh, but you can find us on Twitter at Shonen Flopcast Tumblr Shonen-Flop our website ShonenFlop.com we're also on Spotify iTunes YouTube or wherever else you get your podcast props to Shannon for the awesome cover art find her online at Illuminati as a reminder join us every Tuesday at 3.30pm Eastern Time when there's a new chapter you can find a link in the show notes or on our site stay tuned for Monday as we give our first thoughts on Smokey BB little Smokey BB 
you know, it's so interesting how the hybrids have shown up, and I think that the weaponization of war really is reason. It's just a matter of time because oh you know, my she's god, such David, cre- shut up! I'm looking at the time, and uh, you know, the chainsaw minutes passed anyway. Bye, bye. The chainsaw minutes. <laughs>